This demonstration video is on our 4D dual input liver application. I do want to point out we do have a body perfusion 4D application. And this is used for any organ other than the liver or the lung. This video is going to focus on our liver perfusion application. So once you select your patient, and this application, along with all your perfusion data, select Open to launch the application. As the application is launching, it does apply a motion correction and registration. Once the pre-processing is complete, to scroll through your images, Hold your right mouse down. As indicated at the bottom right, this is the third phase of 23 phases. Holding your right mouse down and going to your right and to your left. We'll go through the phases that you have obtained. All the tools that you need are located on the left-hand side. Under Perfusion Analysis, you do have the option to undo the motion correction if desired. To, to produce your perfusion maps, we have to put four regions of interest on our images. To start with, we begin with the aorta. So you come over to your image. You want to make sure your aorta is at the brightest and hold your left mouse down to draw your region of interest inside the aorta. You do want to make sure it's completely inside the vessel and does not go outside the wall. By holding your left mouse down, you can move it if necessary. Once you draw that ROI, select aorta. We will do the same for the portal vein. You can do that either on the axial or coronal image. Once you locate the portal vein, by holding your right mouse down, you can scroll to there is contrast in the portal vein and draw your region of interest and select portal vein. Going further down the, the page, we need to do the same thing for a reference organ tissue which we will do in the liver and the spleen. You do want to make sure there is contrast in those organs as well. Left mouse, draw a region of interest. You do want to make sure it's in healthy liver tissue. And I'm going to scroll a little bit more to put one in the spleen and then select spleen. Once I have placed all four ROIs, the Compute button becomes active. We are doing soft tissue calculations. Just want to drop down. We do have air, but that is for our lung perfusion. We will select soft tissue and hit the Compute button. By selecting Compute, it will display our maps for us. On the right hand side, we have our arterial flow map. The bottom right, we have our portal flow perfusion map. And on the bottom left, we have our perfusion index. These are overlaid on our CT image. You'll notice in each map there is a, a icon that we can do a drop down menu and toggle between the transparencies as desired. We also have the option to change the color scale by left clicking on the color scale or Adjust the ranges as needed. 
on your maps by holding your left mouse down. You can get voxel information for each individual map. Or come up to the main toolbar and select your ROI and draw your ROI of your area of interest to get specific numbers. If you would like to do some comparisons on any specific part of your liver. To save these images, a snapshot in the main toolbar will save all four of these images. If you would like to have a collage that will save this entire page through the entire data set, that's located on your right mouse click batch collage. You do also have an option to batch this as a 4D Cine. Over on the left hand side, I'm going to collapse the chevron so I can see my time density graph. This time density graph, you can click down to take a snapshot or export these curves or copy to a clipboard as needed. This arrow to the right will display this graph over onto our display page. When looking at the time density curve, the green vertical line that is labeled SP is your start point and EP is your end point for the range of your maximum slope. The orange line indicates uh, your peak spleen as displayed by this table in the graph as well. If you would like to change your end point or your start point, left mouse, you can drag this line and it will recalculate the maps. For additional information on the 4D dual import input liver application, at the top right corner of the page, there is a white uh, question mark. By clicking on the question mark, it will open our help tab. This help tab will open into the application. This can be printed or downloaded, but as you scroll down, it will uh, cover all the information that we did on the video, along with some specific notes, tips, and how to compute the results. It also will describe a little bit more in detail about the graph or how uh, the results are calculated. You can go back to your application while the Help tab is still open. Single picture in your main toolbar, just single click on the camera. When you're all finished, close the tabs to bring you back to the study list. Any batches or snapshots are saved under the results tab that can then be exported to PACS by right-clicking and open your export page.